Halloween 2007 tells us, well, retells a classic of Michael Myers as he kills his sister and goes to Smith Groves for 15 years and returns to Haddonfield to find his baby sister. In my opinion, I actually like this movie. I'm actually one of the people that actually do actually like this movie. Because for partial, for quite a while in the movie, we focus on Michael Myers as a kid. Which I was completely fine with because we get to see what his life was like when he was being, let's just say, examined by Dr. Loomis at Smith's Grove. I was completely fine with that because he gives us a new bad story from him. And the backstory is, he's just a really disturbed kid who has evil in his soul. Which is basically what they said in the original, and I like that about this movie. Of course, the... That's a pretty good backstory, to be honest. But it's like, half the movie is with kid Michael Myers, and the rest is with adult Michael Myers, as we see him break out. Get some clothes. Then then returns to Haddonfield to find his baby sister. And I do know I actually like what they did with Loomis in this one. Instead of Loomis being a devoted Michael Myers hunter to try and stop the pure evil known as Michael Myers, instead Loomis knows that he is evil, but he still thinks there's some good in him, and he tries to at least help him. Unlike Loomis in the original franchise, which just, Michael Myers, I gotta shoot him and stop this evil. But don't get me wrong, I did like that Loomis. I also like this Loomis as well. Not, people, not a lot of people are going to say that about this Loomis. But this one is a little bit more bloodier with its kills, because we got Rob Zombie for this movie. So, yeah, you tell there's going to be some disturbing stuff in this. Because Rob Zombie really likes to make his horror movies a bit disturbing. You should go check out House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects. Those two are pretty disturbing. But they're good. But I'm not talking about those movies. What the... It's just basically the same movie, except with different actresses. And I do like the actress playing Laura. I thought she did pretty good. Oh yeah, Danielle Harris is in this movie, and she plays Annie. Who does not die in this movie and just is just stabbed multiple times is not even bleed to death. She was on the floor for, floor for quite a while. How does she not die? That is a good question. Her boyfriend died instantly, but Annie did not did not die. Hmm. I guess because Daniel Harris was the one playing Annie. So. And to be honest, I kind of wish the movie ended a bit differently. So, first I'm going to show you the scene where Luma shoots Michael three times, and here you go. To be honest, I think we should have cut that entire scene after Luma shooting six time, six, not six, three times, and they're all in the house. When Luma gets his head crushed a little bit, doesn't die. To be honest, I think they should have cut away from that will cut away from Michael in the abandoned swimming pool and go to the next day and show Michael's body in the coroner's office. And when the, I'm basically just saying the ending of Resurrection, but I prefer this to be different. But to be honest, I really thought the ending, what they were doing with the ending at, in this movie, was just basically just trying to fill out the running time of this movie. To be honest, I, I was bored. I was thinking, okay, so Lori's gonna make it. When is she gonna um, kill Michael? Ish. So, I do have to note that I also like the mask in this movie. I love the design it's because Michael had buried it under floorboards for about 15 years. So it's not gonna stay the way. It's not gonna be the way it looked like when he first wore when he killed his sister. So. I do, I, my main problem with the ending is what they ended with. Here's the, what happened at the ending right here. What the 
heck? How do you? End, why would you end a movie like that? If I was filming this movie, I would not end it like that. I would end it the way I wanted to end it. Michael's body, supposedly dead, in that pool. The coroner taking, unzipping his body bag, and all of a sudden, Michael kills her, or him, depending on how the, depending on who the coroner was. To be honest, I thought that would have been better ending than what we were doing with this. So, yeah. But I would give. Halloween 2007, three stars out of five. Join me next week as I review Halloween 2 2009 with some decent moments in it. But until then, I'll see you guys next week with the final week of the month of Halloween. Bye, guys.